Well, hi there, Andrew Bell, and I trust all is well in your world. There has been a significant pickup in sales activity over the past 10 days, as we've enjoyed some breathtaking weather. The weather, you know, on the Gold Coast at the moment has been nothing short of perfect. It's also interesting to keep a really clear perspective on the fundamentals that will continue to drive our Gold Coast property market. There is currently about 577,000 people who live here on the coast, and this is predicted to grow by 12,500 new residents per annum. There is a need to build around 5,000 new dwellings per year, and that growth in new dwellings is spread right across fairly evenly a variety of age groups. Around 12% is needed for our young renters, around 24% for 25 to 39 year olds, and they're predominantly first home buyers, 22% for the 40 to 54 year olds, and they're upgraders, and around 26% for our 55 to 74 year olds, and they're downsizers. About 14% for our retirees aged 75 to 84, and the remaining 2% is for aged care and our more seniors. Now this translates into five groupings of styles of properties needed to be built. The traditional detached home is about 15%, small lot homes about 23%, townhouses around 20%, apartments around 40%, and retirement villages or aged care around 2%. Now to break that down into numbers, we need about 750 traditional detached houses per annum, 1,150 small lot homes, 1,000 townhouses, 3,000 apartments, and about 100 retirement style properties. Now looking at the current construction. The Urban Development Institute of Australia states that the current rate of construction on the Gold Coast needs to pick up by at least 37% to supply the housing needs of our growing population, which continues to be the fastest growing region in Australia. I think that will accelerate. Rather than the pickup in construction, the Australian Bureau of Statistics shows in the latest report that approvals for new home construction is actually in decline, falling from around 296 properties to the current level of 220 properties per month. That is certainly the wrong trend. Much of this has been put down to access to affordable land, and the other is simply a labour shortage in terms of not being able to find a significant number of tradies needed for this construction work. It's of no surprise that we are seeing more people having to take up an option of an apartment, as opposed to perhaps townhouses and other developments that might have been some of these people's preferred option, simply because there are more apartments to choose from than their preference, and hence the stronger demand for larger apartments than have traditionally been built. Now this has been demonstrated by the recent release of the new Spirit building that is providing apartments nearly twice the size of that which has been constructed in more recent years. This has been a strong reason why they have recorded so many sales over the past couple of weeks. This is certainly interesting information and it does show that the fundamental demand for real estate here on the Gold Coast will continue to provide that fundamental support for a strong market for many years to come. And just a quick note, I'd like to mention, the Railway Surface Paradise Group is proud to be leaders in our Gold Coast community, and especially in the space of caring for our less fortunate. We're coming up very quickly on some $4 million that we've raised for various community causes, with our primary one, the support for young children with muscular dystrophy, and a significant contribution to the research to eradicate this dreaded disease. What is regarded as the Gold Coast best ball of the year will be on the 22nd of September at the Star Casino. We've already sold out of our platinum and gold tables, but still have more room available with our silver tables at just 2300 for a table of 10 and our bronze for 2100. Why don't you just come and join us? You'll have a great night. You'll really enjoy yourself. Details of our ball coordinator are on screen right now so you can reach out and make contact. We already have over 600 people booked in and a great night of it entertainment lined up. Be part of a Gold Coast community event that does amazing things for those less fortunate in our community. Well, that's it for the first month of the new financial year, done and dusted. And when I'm with you next, in a fortnight's time, we'll be in the last month of winter. We've put forward a great selection of some fantastic properties, both residential and commercial, for your pre-spring selection. I really encourage you to have a look at what we have in this week's e-newsletter. 
It's a great selection of real estate for our buyers to ensure that you can find your property before the surge of buyer activity that always comes with spring. And it gives you a, a more competitive advantage. Well, that's it for this fortnight. Stay safe. Let's be kind to one another. See you in a fortnight's time.